Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin, lecturer in computing at the National College of Ireland and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video, we're going to learn how to calculate measures of variability, that's the range, variance and standard deviation, using IBM's SPSS. Now before we start, let's take a look at the three measures of variability that we're going to calculate in this video. The first is the simplest and perhaps crudest, and that's the range uh, of our data. So the range of a set of quantitative data is equal to the largest measurement, that's the maximum value, minus the smallest measurement, which is the minimum value. So I've got a sample set of data here, and if you look through it quickly enough, you'll see that the largest value is 8 and the smallest value of 3. So when I subtract 3 from 8, I get a range of 5. So clearly the bigger that number, um, the more variable the data are. Now our most useful measure of variability is the standard deviation denoted by the letter S. This represents the average amount of variability in a set of scores. In practical terms, it's the average distance from the mean. The larger the standard deviation, the larger the average distance each data point is from the mean of the distribution. And you can see here it's represented by a formula, uh, s equal to the square root of the sum of the each value x minus the mean of x squared divided by n minus 1. Our third measure of variability is variance denoted by s squared, and it's simply, as uh, we can see here, uh, the square of our standard deviation. So the definition of it is that the variance of a sample of n measurements is equal to the sum of the squared deviations from the mean divided by n minus 1. If you compare the two formulas in the pink and uh, purple boxes here, you can see that the major difference between them is the uh, square root sign is missing from the variance calculation. So if you have uh, one, it's very, very easy to calculate the other. So let's take a look at some data in SPSS. On my left hand side here I've got my uh, data ether, editor and in it I have some sample test results from uh, say a statistics test that I have run and I've got results for 30 students here. On my right hand side in the window is the uh, SPSS statistics viewer. Now before I do any analysis it's always a good idea to take a look at the data that I have to make sure that everything is ready for analysis. And what I'm going to do is down at the very bottom left hand corner of the data editor view I'm currently in the data view so it's highlighted in yellow here and I'm just going to click on the variable view to make sure that my variable uh, types and everything are correct. So in line number one here I've just got one set of variables so uh, I've got one and I've called it test statistics test results if I need to change that this is where I could change it. I want to be sure that my data type is numeric so there are plenty of different types here so uh, I'm going to leave this one as numeric. Um, I've no decimal places in these data here and I'm going to go all the way along make sure everything is okay and an important thing to check out is that in numeric data there are three types scale, ordinal and nominal so in our case here we want to choose scale. So everything looks ready for my analysis and I'm going to click back on the data view tab in the bottom left hand corner of the data editor. Now, many of the uh, tests and analysis that I will do in SPSS come underneath the analysis menu. So first of all, click the analysis menu and the option I'm looking for is descriptive statistics. In here, uh, I'm going to use the frequencies option because this is going to give me the most uh, values that I will need. So select that. And the first thing I need to do is I've just got one variable. So I'm going to copy that over into the variable view so I can drag it over and drop it in. Or I could use this arrow here in the center to move my variable from one side to the other. Down along the right hand side here I've got some buttons so I'm going to check on the uh, statistics button to see what it is that I need and I can see down here in the bottom left hand side the uh, measures of dispersion so standard deviation I'm going to check that, variance I'm going to check that and range is the third of the three measures of variability that I would like to have. Now there's loads of other ones here as well but for the moment I'm just looking for these three measures of variability so I'm going to select those click on continue and for now I'm, I'm happy with what, what I'm going to choose and I'm going to click on OK. And over on the right hand side of my screen in this small table near the top of the output uh, I've got the frequencies and first of all it's telling me in this little table here that my n is 30 and that I have no missing value so that's good we can see that from the data. Um, I can see that the standard deviation has a value of 12.037 and that the variance is 144.892 and you can see there that that's the square of the standard deviation and my range is 48 so you can see here I've got quite a, a variable amount of data here. Now, uh, to see this in a, in a context, sometimes I'll be looking at this to see uh, if my data are normal or I want to see what this looks like in a visual representation of the data from my test results over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the data editor, 
check on the uh, an analyze menu again, go to descriptive statistics, and go into the frequency option as I did before. This time, I, I'm going to click on the charts button, the second button on the right hand side here. And this allows me to display a histogram of my data. So I'm going to check on the histogram. And also it allows me then when I check that radio button, uh, uh, there's a checkbox to show the normal curve on the histogram. It's a very, very useful uh, representation of a bell-shaped curve. So I'm going to add that in and click on continue and select OK. And what this does is over on the right hand side, well, it gives me the same uh, outputs as I uh, as in the first um, analysis. I've got my ver uh, number of variables, my standard deviation variance and range here near the top. Uh, but if I scroll down here, I get a histogram of my data, and I can see that it is quite a, close to a bell-shaped or Gaussian curve here. We can see that most of my values are around the middle, and um, that uh, here I have data that are approximately normal. The mean and the standard deviation and n are displayed beside the histogram, uh, but we also know uh, how variable the data are from the range, the variance, and the standard deviation. So that's how you calculate um, range, variance, and standard deviation measures of variability in SPSS. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.